She's listed here as being from an independent gym. Um, that can mean a multitude of things of where she might train at a bunch of gyms and not want to hold any ties to a singular gym. She may just be with one coach, or she may be self-taught. We're not really sure with it. She seems to have a corner with her. No branding on his t-shirt, so it looks to be completely independent. The braided blue hair for Lauren Rose. 66 kilo women's division. Featherweight. Just getting the final checks now before she enters the cage. The black, grey and green shorts and black top for Lauren. Corner Boutel from War Lions MMA. Short black hair for Courtney. Just getting her final checks in before we really get a look at her and she enters the cage. Second showing, I believe, for War Lions this evening. Let's see how things go. And here she is entering the cage. Green shorts. Cheer for Courtney there. And we're off. Second women's fight of the night. Opens wildly, wild exchange where she pulls guard. It's not often we see that in MMA of a guard being pulled. Especially under pressure. Usually we see a takedown being shot, but she's pulled guard. Now let's see what she can do from here. Holding the head, breaking the posture down. Really squeezing on the head there. Made a long career out of pulling guard. Let's not be too critical. <laughs> her jiu-jitsu looks, looks to be her strong voice. She needs to be confident there to pull guard. She's so pulling the weirdest expression. I think she's trying to tap her out by squeezing her arms. I don't know what's yeah. happening there, Cal. I'm confused I, by it. I'm, so am I. She looks like she's not breathing, which no. is needed in fighting. And now, is she going She's going to half. It's the this is very strange. The worst half guard I ever saw. Eat oh, well. lovely left hand. Left hand again and again. Okay, oh, up kick, kick to the face. Up kick on a downed opponent. Love that. So for our viewers at home, that's completely legal. You can't, if you're on your back and someone's on top, you can't up kick from the floor while they're on the floor with you. It's just one of those things that it just causes so much damage so easily. It's uh, We have to keep... The whole point of, battle of MMA is it's a repeatable sport. If you get injuries that are so horrendous, you can't do the sport again. It's no longer... It's a, it's a freak show or a spectacle, but it's not a repeatable sport. You should get the position back. Yes. Just take the half, half guard back. Just like sit here. I'm going to get punched in the face. Oh, we're going to go from guard. Oh, we're going to go from guard. That was not the position they're in, but... I'll take it. That's fine. The reset's there. Will we see a double over wrap squeeze? The anaconda squeeze. Punching from her back. Not to be advised. She needs to look to either sweep or try with a submission to pass. Lovely shot. But that ground pound is deadly. I think we should call this. Aimlessly reaching. I think call this. Just kind of prodded her face away. That's not how you defend ground pound. You want to keep your elbows by your head, really. Not 
hands away from your thing that's being the hit. The upkicks are there. More. It's, it's yeah. going to be that, a bit of that PTSD from, from the upkicks itself. That's just keeping her distance. The yeah, upkicks are... Oh, oh lovely. Oh. The left hands are there again. I can't believe this has gone this long, to be honest. So am I. I'm very surprised. Oh, oh wow. Oh Get wow. Team. Oh wow. It's Sorry. Tight. It's tight. It's tight. tight. This is the comeback of the century. It's tight. It's tight. I think she's she's lifting more than she is. Oh, it's not Armin as such. She's no. kind of holding her wrist. It's no, she's, she's, she's. Oh, it is Armin. It's, That's it's tight. tight. I think being stood up is just about keeping her alive. I mean, terrible okay. guillotine defense. What she wants to do is put her left arm over her shoulder. There we go. Move. Separate the hands. To the other side of the hips and separate the hands, just as you say. I mean, she gave up the position to... Oh! oh he oh. That is insane! I had to eat my words. The Paul Craig of Battle Arena pulled guard, strange jiu-jitsu, and then tapped with a standing guillotine. Two guillotines back-to-back -back now. Wonderful, wonderful performance. Very, very strange. Strange end to the fight. Strange whole way through. But enjoyable nevertheless. And it goes in trend with this evening's fight. Another finish. Another brilliant performance. And we move through. We are flying. We are absolutely flying. We are ten fights deep. Love to show respect there between the two ladies. And great performance there from Lauren Rose. Great striking, good takedown defences. Great ground and pound. The ground and pound was deadly. I thought that fight was over. But it is not over till it's over after all. Now after that incredible performance, the team was the path to victory, but I've got to ask before, were there triangles in the mindset? Were there certain submissions you were looking for? No, there wasn't. I was literally just facing my instincts. I thought, she's there, I'm going to grab her neck, I'll hold it, and I'll hold it as long as I can until she taps. And that's exactly what I did. Now I have to ask at the start, you're taking some ground and pound. Did you feel that was affecting your decision making at all? I thought, I was like, how am I going to get out of this? So I just kept hitting. Obviously, I shouldn't have done the up kick. That was my mistake. I thought I was trying to kick her yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just figured that was my mistake. But honestly, she's an amazing fighter. I had such an amazing fight and I can't wait to do this shit again. Can't wait to see you again. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's all right, thank you. And back to the commentary team, back to the action.